The only person we opposed putting in the scrapbook was Brian McFadden from Westlife. As Lucy says, he reminds her of Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys, and we don't like him, seemingly. I think it's because Lucy was with this guy once that looked like Nick Carter, and when Lucy ignored him at a youth club disco, he told everyone she was frigid, which, like, massively insulted Lucy because, as she said herself, she's built a reputation on not being frigid. So ever since, we haven't been allowed to play the Backstreet Boys in the vicinity of her, and now it looks like poor Westlife are feeling the wrath too. Man on board, studying is hard. I never know whether to spend more time on biology diagrams or mass formulas or geography contours or drummulans or glaciated lakes. Earlier I was trying to learn just 10 French phrases that I can use in a stupid letter. Like, when am I ever going to write a goddamn letter to the French anyway? Like, am I suddenly going to start writing to the French president and be like, Bonjour Jacques Chirac, <laughs> do you have any amenities in your caravan park by the sea? Everyone that's anyone is getting a Brazilian these days. And I'm not talking about Pele or Ronaldo here, dear diary. I'm talking about the lady girl. Me, Lucy and Rebecca always head to Super Value together to stock up on Imac. But all of a sudden, Lucy comes into school walking funny, which in fairness is like the norm after a weekend for her. But it turns out that she had Imac'd her nether regions, left it on for too long, and in her own words, burnt the box off herself. Oh God. Oh God. I just had a thought. What if they fall in love and Rebecca loses her virginity to him? What if she loses her virginity before me? No. She's my best friend in the whole world. She wouldn't do that. Would she? All of a sudden, there he was. With teeth as white as when you wash your clothes with Daz. Mike Murphy. It's fair to say, dear diary, that Mike Murphy is indeed a ride. And the majority of the older ladies, as Lucy would put it, were sliding off their seats with excitement of seeing him. I didn't really want to admit it to anyone, but my trip to the Winning Streak studio had been the most excitement I had had in a very long time. The sheer adrenaline. This must be what sex feels like. We beat Saudi Arabia 3-0 in the World Cup. You can feck off now back to all your oil and playing baddies and James Bond movies. Can you believe that we got this far without Roy Keane? There's a new Keane in town though, and his name is Robbie. I wonder is Robbie Keane single? He's 22 years of age and from Dublin, which I won't hold against him in fairness. He's only four years older than me. Oh my God, I'm going to spend the rest of the summer just daydreaming about shifting him. I do feel like I'm cheating on Roy Keane, but where is Roy Keane, dear diary? Where is he? Walking his dog back home by the looks of it. I think I really want a boyfriend. I daydream all the time about finding the one, you know? like Joey and Pacey in Dawson's Creek, even though I can't imagine any of the lads I know having the vocabulary that Joshua Jackson does. They all have the conversational skills of Lorcan in First City. And that's been nice. Sometimes I lie in bed and I listen to hear if God is trying to talk to me. You arrogant so-and-so. But then I get sidetracked thinking about school or about all the mingers I've shifted at youth club discos is so harsh. Or about how the delivery guy Doug Heffernan from King of Queens is not hot enough to have managed to marry someone as hot as his wife Carrie in the TV programme. You're kind of right about that. And I just can't concentrate. So I don't know if he has even tried to contact me yet. I live in the back arse end of Connemara. I really don't know how this happened, but it's definitely my parents' fault. I feel like I should be living a different life, somewhere exotic like Summer Bay, where I've been adopted by Irene and lived in her beach house, or maybe even somewhere more exotic, like Limerick. My love life is as dry as a riverbed in a Tokra ad. I've shifted a couple of lads, nothing serious. There's barely be, even been any tongue action. I practice kissing on my arm sometimes so I don't get rusty during my many dry spells. But that's as much crack as Mother Theresa playing Never Have I Ever. I don't tell anyone about my arm kissing because it's really pathetic, even for me.